This is NBC 15 Sports. Hello again, everybody. Just when you thought you could put the LSU victory behind you, another good thing comes from the 16 to 14 win at Lambeau on Saturday. Before the game, the Badgers were unranked in the AP and coaches poll. Guess where they're ranked now, people? If you can believe it, the Badgers are ranked 10th in the Associated Press poll and 16th in the coaches poll. That's Bucky's highest ranking since 2011 in the AP poll. And Ben Wargle from Badger Nation tells me Wisconsin's jump from unranked in week one to number 10 in week two is the largest week one to week two jump in school history. I'll add to that nugget. It also matches the best season debut in poll history. With the loss of Chris Orr, inside linebacker, along with TJ Edwards still recovering from injury, Leon Jacobs, who was moved from linebacker to fullback, will now play both positions for the Badgers. The redshirt junior certainly has the athletic ability to play both. And with UW being thin, especially at inside linebacker, they need him in a bad way at that position. We'll hear from Jacobs. Tomorrow, more props from the big game on Saturday. Linebacker Jack Sitchi was named Lot Impact Player of the Week. The junior had eight tackles, one TFL, and a forced fumble against LSU. I asked him yesterday if he was surprised at how well the defense played against the Tigers. I think we're confident enough in knowing that what we could do, but um, it, it was exciting to be able to put, the, put it on, on the field and be able to showcase that. Soldier has some pass breakups, DT has pick, Dakota had that pick. I think it was just a team defensive win, just working together cohesively. It was a pass rush. It was the pass rush helped the, the back end, and back end helped the pass rush. It, was, uh, it all worked together. 